Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and it is spooky season. We are kicking it off with the good old lush Halloween haul. I am so excited for this. I, as you can see, we are spooky. I have spooky here. I have spooky over on my bed. My mirror here has spooky on it too, but you can't see that and I'm not turning the camera around because it's only a little bit, you won't even notice it. But I have spooky, I have spooky on the floor. I have a little altar of spooky things that just keeps flashing, which I love. It's spooky season. I have my spooky top on, my spooky earrings and my spooky makeup. If you do want to see this makeup, I have got it filmed. It will be coming up sometime in October. It's one of my spooky season looks. So hit subscribe down below to see that coming up soon. And the images of this will be up on my Instagram, which is also linked down below. So you can check that out there. But today is lush. It's all lush. I bought my stuff today. I am filming it today. I am so excited. I cannot wait for this. So I'm just going to get straight into it. I don't want to, I don't want to dilly dally. I don't want to mess around too much. I'm going to start off. I bought a lot of st I bought a lot of the range. There's a couple of things I didn't buy. I didn't buy the lip scrub because I have about 5 million lip scrubs that I need to get through. I, and I don't really want a sour lip scrub because sour is not my favourite, favourite thing. And then I didn't buy a Lord of Misrael shower gel, again, because I've got a million shower gels. Like, even right here, beside me, I have the two ginormous, Snow Fairy and Sleepy. And I haven't even started using them. So, we're not even going to go there. I also have hundreds of more inside. And I didn't get any of the gift sets. I didn't get the Ectoplasm shower slime, because I also have the Boo shower slime from last year which was the one that smells like Lord of Misrule but I also have the one from previous year that is kind of a sweet candy kind of smell like black y kind of smell so I didn't get that either because I don't need it so I got things that I knew I wanted knew I was gonna need but we like it anyway so I'm gonna start working our way through we're gonna finish up bath bombs because that's the most exciting so I want to leave that till the end so I'm gonna start with some samples first because I just want to get them out of the way and also my Lush store is the best Lush store. The manager that works there is we've kind of got a good customer employee relationship because I go in I don't have to be sold on anything because I'm already there to buy stuff he doesn't have to sell me anything. We have a little chat about whatever's new is coming out and then I'm off to just shop on my own. He's often throwing a couple of freebies in. Those two things up there were freebies. <laughs> um, and today he asked me if I wanted any samples. So I picked these two. By the way, I don't know if this is just a shortage of the small sample pots, but um, that was my sample. That's my sample. And I have another sample. Is this a new thing? Because Lush sample pots were like this, this size. And that's what I was expecting. And then these went into my bag and I was like, what the hell? That's the same size as a face mask. <laughs> so the first sample that I said I would love is the Olive Branch Shower Gel. I have had a very small sample of this before, years and years ago, but I was like, hmm, I want to, I want to, I want to get it again. And I do plan on actually buying this. So I was like, why not just get this sample first? I was not expecting it to be this big. This will last me for another few months, but it's, it's kind of like an orangey sort of shade. It just smells so different, like quite perfumey, a little bit citrusy, to me a little bit musky. I love a musky kind of smell. I'm going to read out the ingredients for you guys. So I have it all on my phone here. The ingredients for this one is vine leaf infusion, fair trade olive oil, fresh mandarin juice, bergamot oil, Sicilian lemon oil, orange flower absolute, Sicilian red mandarin oil. And that is it. But I'm so happy, like Jesus. Like that's my sample, I can't get over that. And then the next sample again, this size as well, I also asked for the pink peppermint lotion. I've never tried it, I love a good foot cream and I've actually been eyeing this up because of the peppermint that's in it. And since I'm back in work, like since May, but like I'm back in work, I like a foot cream. I like something that's a little bit minty on my feet because it keeps them cool because my feet to be on fire from work. So this is pink peppermint and it is exactly as it says on the tin. It is a pink and peppermint. They have filled it up quite a bit so I keep getting little spillages so it's actually all over my hands so all I can smell all day is this. So yeah definitely peppermint but still kind of powdery smelling to me anyway. In this one you have got Arnica infusion, I don't know what that is, fair trade almond oil, fair trade organic cocoa butter, spearmint oil, peppermint oil, togetis oil, lanolin which is great as well. Just really nice 
I think it's just gonna feel good. I might use it tomorrow when I finish work because I have the day off today. I might use it tomorrow after work and see how my foots feel because that would be really nice, I, I think. Okay, so next up is a soap, which I know I said a while ago, maybe last year or the year before, that I wasn't really gonna be buying any soap from Lush because I don't use them that often. I prefer a liquid shower gel, that kind of thing, or something like that, or body scrub, or so, you know, something along those kind of lines. Bars of soap I find just, just a hassle. But since COVID and all that business and washing hands so much, me and my mom have been going through soap like nothing. So I have bars of soap that I hadn't used in forever. So I gave them to her to kind of just put into the bathroom, do with them as you will. And I just, ha I wasn't using them. So I was like, you, we might as well just use them while they're there. So we've just been going through them. So I was like, I'm going to get another bar of soap. And I wanted this one. This is the pumpkin spice. So this is what it looks like here. It's like this beautiful orange kind of thing. If it's lush on the side. It's also got, I'd imagine, pumpkin seeds. I'm assuming that's what they are. It's quite an oily bar. It's probably very moisturizing and a little bit squishy. Just a little bit, but it's very oily. I can feel the oil in my hands. This one smells like food, by the way. Like it's a foodie smell. It kind of smells like what I imagine a pumpkin pie to smell like. I don't know, I've never had a pumpkin pie. Or like what I imagine Thanksgiving as a holiday smells like. Again, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. So in this one here, you've got rapeseed oil, you've got coconut oil, maple syrup water. That's exactly what I'm smelling. Kind of a caramelly sort of smell off it as well. You've got pumpkin puree, extra virgin coconut oil, cinnamon leaf oil, ginger absolute gardenia extract. And that is all the important bits. All the rest are just ingredients to mix up. But yeah, you can definitely smell like quite warm. The little bit of spice in there from the cinnamon and ginger. I'm mostly getting maple and pumpkin. That's the main things I'm smelling from this. So I'm, it's very foodie. My mom will like it sometimes. She's very particular with her smells. Okay, and then the next thing, again, I don't usually buy these things, but this is just too cute to pass up. This is the Monster Octopus Shower Jelly. I don't buy shower jellies. The last one I think I bought was the, the Nightwing. Batwing, Nightwing. It was the bat for Halloween. It was another Halloween one. Kind of smell like lime sweets. I was like, this is too cute. They put so much effort into this one. I was, I was like, I'm just gonna get it because I think it'd be fun, cool for pictures and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna take them out. Actually, no, I'm gonna read the ingredients first because I'll get it all over my phone, but I will take them out in a second. But in this one, you have got fresh passion fruit infusion, which is the main thing you're gonna smell. There's carrageenan extract. There is vanilla absolute, black currant absolute, which I can kind of get as well. Sweet wild orange oil, tagetus oil, again, whatever that is, I don't know. But that is what's in this. You mainly get the passion fruit. Little bit of black currant, just a little bit. I get a little twinge of it myself. Oh, I can't open it now. Oh, there we go, Jesus. This this could be a disaster, by the way, guys. Also, it looks like a little curled up octopus in there. How cute. And it was, it was out on display in the store and I kept poking it because it, it looked like it was dancing. Just rolling up my sleeves here. Let's move the phone out of the way, all the technical bits out of the way. Let's try and get this bad boy out. Oh, he's a bit sudsy. It's huge, by the way, because that's him there. But then he's got limbs. So let me take all his limbs out. Look. Oh my God, he's so cute. Yeah, it's super pretty. Kind of smells like a woo-woo cocktail or something like that, or cosmopolitan. He's so wobbly, I love him. We should name him. I like to always name something for my Lush videos. Give me a name down below. I'd like to call him Kraken, just because I love pirates and I love Pirates of the Caribbean. So let me just plop him back in. Oh, he went right back in exactly like he was. That is so cute. And I'm gonna go wash my hands. I also forgot to mention, if you pull back the little sticker, as always, mine was made by Dan. Thank you, Dan. There is a little message under here that says something funny or cool. It says, tentacool. Ah, very cute. Okay, so that's all for the kind of miscellaneous stuff, as I like to call it, all the extra bath stuff sort of things. We're gonna move on to bubble bars now. They only came out with two and I bought both. I don't buy a huge amount of bubble bars, but I do like to buy a couple but this year they only bought out two and the two of them i really really wanted the second one in particular that i'm going to show you is one i definitely was going to get and you'll understand why in a second but the first one i'm going to show you is the alien how cute is he now this smells citrusy this is super limey really fresh really strong and citrusy it's beautiful the color is just me in a color like i have that kind of color on my lower lash line here and um, he's really really cute you can name him too actually if you would like name him too 
I am very excited to see what color my bath goes. It's gonna go this color, but I wanna see how strong the color is as well. So let me quickly tell you what is in it. It says you get neon water, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that's what we get. So in this guy here, we have got bergamot oil. We've got Litsi Cubeba oil, whatever that is. Benzoin resinoid, and that is it. Really? It smells super, like I can definitely smell the bergamot oil, but it's super lemony, limey, fresh, sort of smelling. Oh, it's so, so good. I'm so excited for this one. Okay, and then next when I show you this guy, and if you already know what's already out for Lush Halloween, you'll know I had to buy this. This is Screamo. Firstly, I love rock music, so let's just get that one out there. Secondly, I love horror movies, and it's inspired by Ghostface from Scream. Look at him, it's a bubble blower as well. So you can actually blow, it shows you on the website here, blow bubbles through the little mouthpiece there. And it's like purple and white or like a creamy kind of color. It's on a stick, so you swish it around. Um, apparently in, in the store they were saying that the sticks keep breaking because it is quite he top heavy. Um, I was like, I'll take the, the ones that are broken. I don't really care, but these were out. And actually the manager there was like, oh, I saved you one of these ones in particular because they were selling really fast. So get your hands on this quick. But he saved me one, so I got it. Um, But there was a few there when I went anyway. So in this one here, I'll just tell you. To me, this smells very almondy. A little bit like cherry. It's very, very different for uh, a lush scent. So in this one here, you have got cream of tartar. You've got benzoin, resinoid, ylang ylang oil, almond essential oils, and that is it. That is all the, the main ingredients that we need to know about. Yeah, cherry scented is what it says. So the almond oil is what's giving it that really, I don't know, tart kind of scent to it. It's really, really nice. I love him. I love him. That's Ghostface. We don't need to name him. He already has his name. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I would love for Lush to do more of that horror themed stuff. That's just me and me and my horror light love, but I would love like a Jason bath bomb or a Chucky bath bomb. I've seen them before online. I've seen them lots of times, so they might not do anything like that. But it'd be really cute. I think they should, or even the bubble bars, just do the bubble bars in those kind of shapes, like a Jason mask next. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay, so next up, let's talk about some drama. Okay, let's talk some drama. And if you know, you already know. You might be like, what the hell is that bath bomb? It's Lord of Misrule. Okay, now the scent is the same. You still get that beautiful patchouli, black pepper, vanilla kind of smell. Um, very wintry, very autumnal. To me, Lord of Misrule scent is Halloween. It's like that smoky, wintry, just real, I don't know, cozy kind of smell to it. Now the original one, as we all know and love, is kind of a green on the outside, like a sagey kind of green on the outside. It's got this like crown pattern around the, like etched into it a little bit. And then you pop it in your batch, like, oh, it's gonna be green, it's gonna be fun. No, it's not, it's, it is fun. It's not gonna be green though. It actually turns like a really dark red color. So it almost looks like wine, or as I like to say, blood. That makes me sound like an absolute psychopath, but no, I'm not. I just love horror themed things. So it just make I think it's really fun and spooky. This goes a green, like the kind of green you're expecting the original one to go. But it's just like, where's my blood bath? <laughs> and also it looks like a beach ball. I get it, I get it. It's supposed to look like a court jester because that's the whole point of Lord of Misrule. But it doesn't seem spooky. It seems really summery and it goes like turquoise kind of color in the bath. The red is just these three little bits here. They actually demoed it for me in the store. Um, and the yellow fizz is so quick, the blue takes ages to fizz. But like, I don't know, I'm happy the scent stayed. I'm happy Lord of Misrule is back, but I'm not happy with the redesign. I love the original version of it. And I think that's so much better. And I think a lot of people think that. So I have a funny suspicion that next year we'll have the original back, I think, because a lot of people are talking about this. But, you let me know down in the comments. What do you, do you prefer this version or do you prefer the original Lord of Misrule? I'm on original Lord of Misrule side. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you actually what's in it, but I've already kind of told you. You have got black pepper oil, dark Sumatran oil, Sumatran patchouli oil, sorry, vanilla absolute cream of tartar, and that is it. And it's just smoky, but sweet because of the vanilla 
Oh, it's perfect. It's just perfect smell. I just want the original design back. <laughs> Next up, we've got kind of a design we've sort of seen before, but in a spooky version. And we've got Ghosty. And how adorable is he? He's so cute. There is a ghost soap with glows in the dark. It is out this year. I have actually got it. Um, so I didn't need to buy another one. I still have my other one. But this is basically almost the same design as the snowman dreaming that comes out at Christmas. So it's white. And then on the side is a whole ream of color that kind of shoots out on one side. So it's supposed to look like a rainbow coming out of the snowman, hence the snowman dreaming. But this one is purple, blue and pink. So I think you'll get a really nice kind of purpley bath. And it's just really, really cute. Now this smells so lemony like oh my goodness me in this one we've got popping handy so she crackles in the bath we've got lemongrass oil Sicilian lemon oil persian lime oil and that is all that i can see that is quite important so definitely citrusy definitely lemony fresh and the next up we have a little match to my top we've a match to our little friends all on this side here but this is pumpkin pumpkin and he is adorable and this smell this is also quite an autumnal smell so I would actually say Lord of Misrule is a Halloween scent this is an autumn scent this is so cozy it's really nice so this one has got cinnamon leaf oil lime oil sweet wild orange oil Sicilian red mandarin oil and pumpkin powder you can smell the pumpkin it's real sweet as well though. Oh, it's so nice and quite a warm undernote in it from the cinnamon. I don't really smell cinnamon, but it smells warming. So that's what I'm assuming is happening there. He's so cute though. I think he's really cute. I'd love them to do like an angry one. Why well, don't want everything to be really dark? But I love angry pumpkins. Like I love, he's a little bit angry and no, they're all happy pumpkins. Have I got an angry pumpkin anywhere? No. So yeah, if you want spooky feelings, this one, just this one, and you'll be there. Okay, now this one is a little bit more messy. This is our last bath bomb as well. It's our last product of the video. This flew in. I want there to be more. I, I always want Lush to do a bigger Halloween range, always. Like not as big as Christmas, but you know, almost, almost. So this one is Bat Art and it's so cute. It's super sparkly. Look how shiny it is. So you're going to get a super glittery bath and you would say this is going to go black. It's not. It's purple. Really, really, really dark purple. You get this. I'll show you here. Most beautiful purple kind of tone in your bath. Some people have found it be a little bit messy in the bath. So just be weary of that. If you don't like a mess, you don't have like scrubbing things out of your bath, then maybe don't go for it. But I don't mind it. And I haven't really found it be to be too messy, but some people have. I don't know. I think it depends on your bath or the water, like how hard your water is and stuff like that. So this one's quite sweet, but a little bit of a herb in it as well. This one has got Sicilian lemon oil, green mandarin oil, rosemary oil, sage oil, and that is all. There's loads of ingredients in it, but they're the ones that actually like, to me, smell like things. It's definitely super sweet at first, but there's just this little herb right at the base of it. And I think, oh, it's not fo that's focusing on my pumpkin right here. It's fo focusing on my, no, back to me. Excuse me, you had your moment. So I think it's like the mandarin. I love mandarins because they are that little bit sweeter. I think that's what I'm smelling more. But then there's just a little kick at the bottom, which would be like the sage or the rosemary kind of coming through. It's not sweet in the way that the comforter or snow fairy or anything like that is. There's just that little undernote in there, little, little drizzle of herb at the bottom. Okay guys, so that is our Lush Halloween haul. I, I've i just been so excited for this day. I had a, had a day off today, a launch on Thursday. This is Saturday, so a launch on the 9th and this is the 11th. And I, I was so excited about today because I had the day off and I was like, I'm gonna get up early, I'm gonna go into Lush, I'm gonna get my bits, I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna do my nails, I'm gonna be all spooky themed and get everything done and I'm so so happy I love everything so far we won't talk about the design of Lord of Misrule but I still love the scent we won't we won't take that away from it I'm just excited to actually like have a spooky bath I still have one or two bath bombs left to use that I bought like in my last haul like during the summer when I bought the kind of normal permanent range stuff or permanent because the obviously discontinue stuff I still have a few of those and I have one more bath bomb from my first 
uh, subscription box, the kitchen subscription box. And this is not the last of Lush for Halloween, by the way. We've got our subscription box for October, which will also have a couple of spooky things in it. Like there is the Wicked bath oil, which I did vote for. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that that's really in it. And the Enchanter, I think. Yeah, the Enchanter bath oil. I'm pretty sure that was in the vote for this. So I'm very excited. That I really, really, really want that one as well. I always want the bath bombs. I always want the bath stuff. I just, I'm excited to see what else they come out with. I'm excited. I'm always excited for Halloween. Super excited about the Halloween range because as soon as Halloween launches, literally they were like two weeks from now, Christmas will be out. So by the time this video has gone up, I've probably already bought Christmas stuff from Lush and I'm happy about it already and I haven't even done it yet. So I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get my hands on that. And I'm also going to get the Lush advent calendar, the big one, the 24 piece one. I'm going to get it. I don't care what price it is. I'm going to get it. They're getting it into store. It was online, but I'm not paying the shipping and I'm not paying the customs for it. They're getting it in store. I'm going to get it then. And I will unbox it every day on my Instagram stories. So go follow that down below there as well. If you did like this video, then give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the quickest, simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support. Get me around to more people and also let me know you like the video. Also hit subscribe down below to see many things coming up for the spooky season. This is only the beginning. We always start with Lush and we continue on into spooky. These decor things are here to stay for the next few weeks. And I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy to be in a spooky room. Not everything is covered and stuff. This is the main part that's covered because this is my background for a lot of my videos and pictures. But I've got lights around my room that I, that I turn on when I'm editing at night. I'm so happy about it. Just gives me good vibes. And finally, in the comments, let me know what do you think of the Lush Halloween collection this year? Have you bought your bits yet? How, like, what are you getting? What did you get? What are you loving? What do you think of Lord of Misrule? I really want to know what people think about it because I think it's going to change back. I think people are just like, nah, nah, no, no, no. We don't want that design. We want the original I want my blood bath back. <laughs> but I want to know your comment down below and what you got out of the Lush collection and what you're going to get, what you're hoping to buy yourself. So I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.